What's up guys, in this video I'll be giving you my review of the Bliss Pop ROM which is available for your Nexus 5 and the version of Android that I'm running along with this ROM is uh, the latest version of Android that is 5.0.2 and uh, this has the best customization available for your Nexus 5 uh, running the latest version of Android that is Android Lollipop and uh, this is the most customizable ROM that I have come across in uh, terms of Lollipop ROMs on your Nexus 5 and I'll be putting the links of this ROM and also the gapps file in the description so do check out the description and download the file and download this ROM greeted with this customization you can see when you go into your settings option you'll be greeted with your personalization uh, option available where you'll be getting your interface and also your equalizer when you go into your interface you can change your status bar recent options your quick settings your power menu your gesture each and everything and uh, as I have said, this is the most customizable ROM in terms of Lollipop. So when you go into your status bar, you can see you can change the clock and date, your battery option and also your mobile and Wi-Fi network icons. You can see you can change the color also and also you can uh, toggle this on to show the network activity that is going on. And also you can change your status bar header for instance you can change you can just toggle on this option uh, to show the weather towards the right side as it will be displaying my location service is off if you turn on the location service your weather will be displayed and you can change the color also of text and the icon and also your network activity you can see towards the status bar you can just uh, tap on it and you can just uh, select the option as outgoing and incoming network activity on your nexus 5 and also you can change the color and uh, related with the uh, notification system icons you can see you can set up each and everything as per your need like the notification uh, count uh, you can change the notification count uh, the color and also the text color uh, on your uh, nexus 5 through this option you can also toggle the brightness uh, um, control uh, that you'll be able to just uh, slide it onto your status bar to increase or decrease your brightness and also a super user indicator and uh, you can see towards the left side i have changed my carrier to android you can see towards the left side so you can do that by going into your carrier label option you can just toggle this on and if i just toggle this off you can see the android uh, android text is gone you can just toggle it on and you can set up your custom for instance i will just uh, set it up like uh, uh, sayed and you can see towards this, your status bar is, uh, the text has been changed from android to sayed you can also change the color for instance if i want it red you can just tap on it and you can see you can change the color of your carrier label which is available in your status bar and uh, this is the only settings that you'll be getting uh, in your status bar option and when you go into your recents option you can see uh, your clear or recent button on nav bar that is when you can see towards the bottom right side you will be getting when you just tap on it each uh, every application will be closed and if you want uh, the clear or recent tweak uh, button tweak for instance when you just toggle it on you can see towards the right side the x mark around x mark will be appearing you can just tap on it and your recent applications will be cleared you can also toggle the search uh, show search bar in your recent for instance you can see your google search bar is available when you just toggle it off it will be gone so this can be done so when you go into your omni switch settings you can see uh, when you just toggle it on a uh, indication will be appearing when you just slide it you can see uh, you can access your applications uh, from this option available and this can be accessed from anywhere on your phone for instance if you are in uh, in an application like uh, if you are in your browser like if you are in twitter feed you can access the application for instance if you want to just uh, switch it to your settings option you can just multitask it through this uh, omni switch option and you can customize each and everything on your uh, omni switch uh, option uh, available here you can just increase the uh, opacity and also you can auto hide each and everything can be done through your omni switch settings so do check it out as you can do it as per your need and when you go into your power menu for instance as you can see when you just tap and hold the power button you can see the screen record option is available and also your power off uh, uh, option i want the reboot menu option also available your screenshot and also your airplane mode and uh, also your sound profile each everything you can see 
you can include each and everything uh, which is available on your power menu option you can just uh, <clears throat> you can set it up as per your need so this can also be done through your power menu option so when you go into your gesture anywhere option you can see you can just toggle it on and uh, for instance i want to just launch my uh, clock option available and uh, i am on my home screen you can just swipe towards the left side and draw a pattern here see and you can see your clock option will be uh, you can go into a clock option or for instance i want to go into my instagram profile i just uh, draw a pattern as i and you can see you will be taken into your instagram so this can be done through your uh, gesture anywhere option and you can just set set up your gesture by going into your gesture option here and you can just set it up for instance as you can see i have set it the gallery as g and uh, if you want to set the camera for instance if you want to set up your uh, what we call as let us set up your downloads option available you can just tap on it and you can just draw d and be done and when you are on your home screen or any other application for instance i'm in my twitter application and i want to just go into the download section you just swipe towards the left side and uh, you, could, you can see you'll be taken into your download section so this can be done through your gesture anywhere option that you can set up each and every gesture as per your need so this can also be done uh, through this rom and also you can set up each and every animation for instance uh, the custom keyboard animation you can keep your custom keyboard animation so when i go into my messaging application and just, I want to, you can see towards the bottom uh, the keyboard will be appearing and if you want to change the animation for instance like uh, glow in from right and uh, i'll be just uh, closing the messaging application and going again and you can see the glow will be appearing the, like the animation will be created for your keyboard uh, anywhere in your on your nexus 5 so this can be done through ime animation and also you can just uh, toast your uh, change the toast animation for instance the animation that you'll be getting you can see you can do it through your animation option and also your list view animation your system animation your scrolling cache and also scro scrolling modifiers you can change each and every system uh, animation on your phone uh, through the animations uh, option available in your settings in your interface and also uh, app circle bar is also available what this actually does is that for instance you can just uh, swipe towards uh, the left side and uh, I'll just you can see you can uh, do a new type of multitasking uh, through this option like the app circle bar option and uh, you can also include the applications for instance i want to include the calculator the camera option and also just tap on ok and then you, just, you can see the calculator and camera option is also available uh, on your uh, multitasking uh, Trayer, you can see downloads, email, file explorer, file manager, and uh, just tap on OK. And you can see everything is available. You can just uh, do it, and that can be accessed through anywhere. For instance, I want to just go into my calculator option. I can go and uh, if I am if I am on my Twitter application and want to multitask, you can see you can just go into your calculator option and you'll be taken there. So this can also be done through your app circle bar option. You can just check it out and you can customize as per your need, like the trigger trigger width, the trigger position, the trigger height. You can do it from your app circle bar. And also the bliss download section. What this actually does is that you can update your ROM. Uh, like the gaps and each and the kernel the bliss kernel each and everything can be done through your bliss download option so this is also applicable uh, through your interface and also you can control your device for instance you can just uh, control your cpu settings your gpu settings and this for this route should be necessary and also gpu settings you can do it if you know something about about this you can do it or else just leave it where it is right now so this can also be uh, be done through your interface option like the device control so this is the settings that you'll be getting into your personalization interface option available in your settings and when you go into your equalizer you can set up your audio effects like the speaker usb bluetooth wirelessly you can do it through your settings your e equalizer settings and also the buttons option you can just set up your buttons like the volume up and down to wake up your device and the power menu to end calls each and everything you can customize by going into your buttons option 
and uh, also your uh, display for instance as you can see the adaptive display is available your ambient display timeout is also you can set up your ambient display timeout for your need and also you can just do it as a wake up on charge prever prevent accidental wake up double tap to sleep each and everything like the screen recorder you can go into your screen recorder and set up your uh, audio if you want an external audio you can do it you can just toggle it on and uh, the video size you can set up your video size the best is the 720p available and also your bitrate which is a maximum up to 20 mb so you can also do uh, the settings from the display option and uh, also when you go into your storage you can see the partition info is also available like uh, the system data cache and sd card you, your, you can view your partition info by going into your storage option and also your tap and pay option is available system profiles is also available and when you go into your security options you can set up the shortcuts on your lock screen for instance i want the calculator on my lock screen and you can see the calculator option is available on my lock screen so this can be done through your security options by going into your uh, shortcuts so the second thing is that let me clean my device I, it's too much dirty right now okay, it's clean so as i said this is the most customizable rom that i have come across in terms of lollipop roms available on your nexus 5 and also uh, you can see you'll be getting the pre-installed camera the cyanogen mod camera which will be available and i have done a full review of this as you can also install this camera on other android devices which are running the cyanogen mod kernel or rom so i'll be leaving the link of this camera in the description so do check out that review also and also you'll be getting your uh, sound recorder option available along with this rom so it's a good thing that uh, you will be getting on also your music option will be available along with this rom and also i forgot to show you guys that you can customize your tiles your notification tiles as you can see uh, by going into your interface option your quick settings option and you can see you can change the tile and order you can go inside it and you can change the tile for instance if you don't if you if you don't have the screencast option available you can just uh, delete it you can see and you can see the screen cast option is gone now and if you don't want the inverts invert color option as i'm just uh, deleting the invert uh, color option you can just tap and hold and you can see your invert color option is now disabled so you can change your tiles and also your notification toggles um, that will be available on your nexus 5 so this is the bliss rom which is fast smooth and also stable so and the most important thing is that when you just tap and hold on your home screen you can see you'll be getting this type of cyanogen mode settings where you'll be able to uh, change the home screen settings like uh, uh, the turn of the search bar your scroll effect the, the icon label and also your draw settings you can change it through this settings available and also the app settings where the protected app uh, so this can be also done through this rom and uh, you can go into your settings option as said so this is bliss pop rom i'll be leaving the files in the description so do check it out it's a very good rom smooth rom and also you can customize as per your need so hope you guys like this video and if you do please do give it a thumbs up and also do follow me on facebook twitter instagram and google plus and also do remain subscribe to my youtube channel for the more android and more tech ready videos in the near future till then i'll be seeing you in my next video